The case has brought the issue of race discrimination to the fore, with divisions at their worst on farms. Black workers there say they're mistreated and exploited, but white farmers say they're being targeted in killings, which they say are on the rise. And as Harry Mutasa reports, this trial's firing debate on the sensitive issue of race in South Africa. Harvesting sunflower seeds on a 13,000 hectare farm in the country's northwest province. But racial tensions between black farm workers and their white employers have heightened since Eugene Terreblanche's murder, leaving some fear in dark days ahead. Paul Vandervelde's family has been farming here for over 100 years. He says racial integration in this part of the country is not happening fast enough. I think the whole pol 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 politic political situation in South Africa is to blame because why can't we just join hands, talk together and walk the road? Why must we just always point a finger to that, or to that or to that one or to that one? And uh, fortunately it's happening in South Africa. Um, it's been 16 years into democracy. I don't know why can't we just go on. Even before the end of apartheid, farms have always been racial hotbeds, and 16 years of democracy hasn't diffused tensions. Terra Blanche's AWB party has a bloody and violent past. White farmers here say they are being systematically murdered because of the color of their skin. So far this year, for the first three months, and it doesn't even go up to the end of March, I've recorded 19 deaths in 48 attacks. That indicates in all probability, if that is going to be roughly 20 deaths for, three, for a three-month period, we can look um, towards a, a figure towards the end of the year of, of 80 murders. But farm workers say they are the victims, and they're afraid to report cases of abuse and ill-treatment for fear of losing their jobs. Mandla Sefiso says he used to work for Terra Blanche, but ran away when things got bad. The whites here still live in the apartheid era. Times have changed. They should change their racist mentality. Union leaders say the few farm workers who do report cases of alleged assault, torture and murder by white farmers are being left high and dry by the police and judiciary. Workers are not enjoying the democratic process that we have gained or that we have achieved since 1994. We still have farm workers, in particular in this province, who are really not being recognized as workers. They are still being treated like dogs, they are still treated being like baboons. The government minimum wage is about 180 US dollars, but some workers say they are paid as little as 30 US dollars a month. One reason why police investigating Terra Blanche's murder so it could have been a labor dispute. This latest farm murder hasn't just brought issues of race to the fore. It's highlighted the plight of both black farm workers and security concerns of white farmers. If issues here in the Northwest province aren't managed properly by politicians, South Africa's rainbow nation could see itself unraveling as racial flare-ups erupt in other parts of the country. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Northwest province, South Africa.